This is the Two Random Dudes Podcast. Dude. I'm a fake gay. Do you have sex with a shirt on too? What's Hi, up, guys? guys? It's awkward every every time we do it. Welcome to podcast episode 16 of Two Random Dudes. Wow, this is episode 16. As you can tell, we now have an intro. That sounds it sounds great, right? Guess who was responsible for that? Yours truly. If you like it, Gio did it. If you don't like it, Jen did it. But the best way to communicate that is to tweet me. My Twitter is photos for the future. F O T O S the number four, T H E F U T U R E. Photos for the future. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to talk about this week. Um, well, that's technically we could talk about that as a first topic. Our weekly experiment is a segment in the show we started where we try something new each week and see what happens. So last week we were by our special guest, Chris and Trina. They asked us to make an intro. So we did And that. I did it. I did it. I, I will take the credit, but uh, sure. <laughs> so Jin did it, and we are deciding if we want vocals. I think we want authentic vocals. It Well, especially as we get super duper famous and we become huge. We're going to look back to this audio. It's going to be like, this is the audio that like, started it all, you know. Fake gay, black shirt. What else? I I don't know. I, I think care. that might, those I, are like the only two I don't things. want the vocals. I like the music into the intro, but I think you know I I don't mind. I can go either way. So I'm gonna edit. Wait, wait. It. You can go either way. It's like yeah, either. guy, girl. I can go. What either the way. heck are you talking about? I thought you were just talking about the vocals, but we, yeah. Well, what we could do is we could do the vocals. Instead of like having, let's say, two or three sentences, we could just do maybe just a few words here and there. Yeah. So we're going to keep changing it. You guys let us know what you think. Did you like it before when we had nothing? You know? Um, I think they probably liked it when there was a suspense and anticipation because I was edging them. You know what I mean by that? You know what edging yeah, is, right? I was I think, edging. I was like, hey, next week, next week, we're going to get it next yeah, week. So I like. Think- there's something to look forward to. That's why they were coming back. In the beginning, yeah, it might have been like that. But it probably was getting frustrating after a while. But big shout out to Andrew Apple Pie. Uh, it's his song. It's called Let's Dance This Party. Wait a second. I thought this was a legitly yours that you made. You you think I mixed this whole song? I thought I you mixed it. it. No, you you told me like you were getting into audio. I thought you made yeah, it. Yeah, mixing wise and cutting and fading and shortening, but not. <laughs> dude, do you know how much that is? Like to to be a producer and have all the soundboards and stuff. No way. Yeah, you know what? I actually gave you some props. I'm gonna take those props back. And Andrew, Apple Pie, great job. So do you know where I got him from? Background story with that. Uh, he does all of KC Nice Stats music, not no. all, but like I would no, say. He was, no, he was using um. Who's the other guy? Is jo- Jaquim? Yeah, Jaquim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so Andrew Applepie was one of them. So I said, you know, what, I'm gonna reach out to him for some of my vlog music, and I did. And I was like, hey, I love your stuff. Can I use it? And he's like, yeah. And just put my name and just credit me, and he you actually can use responded it for free. to you. He responded to me, right? So that was pretty cool that he did. And uh, I said, well, how much do you want for it? You know, because... No, dude. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. And he sent me a few band camp links where you pay for the audio. But he's like, don't worry about it. You can have some of these. And I was like, cool. Like, maybe he liked my channel or whatever. So I was like, just for that, because you wanted to give it to me for free and you asked for nothing in return, I'm going to go ahead and donate. So um, he's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Buy something you want. That's cool. And I said, well, you know what? Let me give you the money directly. Because if I go to Bandcamp, you only get a percentage of it. So I said, what's your PayPal? And I straight up, friends and family, no fee, gave him straight up the money. So it's donation. You got to let me know so I could half that because it's our thing, you know? Wow. Whatever you donated, let me know. Oh, yeah, it was only a couple bucks. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It was millions and millions of... But 
can can we can we talk a little bit about that because you're talking about PayPal and like friends and family. So I've been accepting more down payments from PayPal in a way to secure, let's say, like photo shoots. I don't like it. <laughs> Why? Because everybody's been paying me via a, a credit card. Well, that's how it would be if you had a square and you would swipe it. I don't you want would, to... Listen. You if, would have a, a 3% fee from whoever because credit I, cards wield that. Of course. And then if you do use a credit card, then you have to pay on that. But so that's what I'm saying. tell them there's a cash discount. Well, what I was going to do is I was, I've been telling people, I've been like, listen, here's how much you have to give me for the down payment. If you're using PayPal to pay, you have to add a 3% fee. But people don't like that or whatever if you're using a credit card yeah that, don't say if you're using paypal if you're using a credit card that's well, a standard in the industry is three percent if you pay cash i can give you a discount and then if, if you are using paypal and you have a bank it, that might be getting too much into it so just make it simple for them venmo well yeah venmo there's no there's no fee there's no fee yeah so they just i don't know how savvy they are some people don't even have it like this wedding that i just um I just got, they don't have it. So they're like, oh, we're going to write a check. We're going to meet up with you. Oh, crap. Speaking of which, I'm not going to pick up my phone. I do have another wedding request. I got to yeah. work on cool. All right. Let's talk to uh, us about the next the topic. Next topic. Oh, well, speaking of switching to next topics, I'm getting a lot of feedback, not through Twitter, but per- personally, they're coming up to me and they're saying, Jin switches topics too fast. Do you hear that or no? Wait. The reason I switched is because I thought we were done talking Yeah, about I, it. I'm done too, but I think sometimes it, it might be my fault too, but they're like, we switch topics too fast. Maybe they still want to talk about it. They still want to hear about it. I don't know. What's the appropriate time um, that we should I'm switch? I'm sure that nobody else wants to know more about PayPal or yeah, maybe people are I mean, the about intro, business. about the intro, we were sure? talking about that. Sure. Okay, next topic. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> slow down, sir. Slow down. So I thought of one that came to me, and I, I wrote it down. Um, pet peeves. So what are your pet peeves? My, I, I'll start just to get the conversation going, and you guys can tweet us what yours are. Wait, what's your Twitter, though? My Twitter is <laughs> Day Call Me Geo. D-E-Y, call, like call me maybe, me Geo. Wait, wait, time out, time out. While we're saying this, I want to know, am I supposed to be in character? No. So we're going to do a segment at the end, I think, because it's too hard. All right. Forget it. All right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. We'll talk about it at the end. So you have to wait until the end of this podcast to know what I'm talking about because it's so exciting. Okay. So I'm going to start it off with my pet peeves. Next topic. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. and, And guys, the contest is still on the giveaway. The 17th person to tweet us. And 17th person, not the 17th tweet. It has to be unique people. We are giving away a beautiful photo canvas by half of the two random dudes. What, what are we up to now? What number? Two. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to tweet us, okay? Just let's tweet us and we'll announce the winners. <laughs> let's see. At this rate, by episode 100, we'll probably have a winner. <laughs> Okay, next. Okay. Um, what so are your pet peeves? Pet <laughs> peeves, yeah. Let's go. Pet All the build-up and anticipation we haven't even started. So this one really grinds my gears. You're at a restaurant, and you order food. And you're at a large table. There's like eight people there. You know, everybody orders their own food, their own entrees. Now you're drinking, you're talking, you know, you're, you're, you're about to get you know, your appetizers, and then the entrees come. And they come fast, right? Because they don't want people to be not eating. So they come. Everybody's entrees comes out. Who got the hamburger? Who got the chicken? Who got the steak? And nobody's paying attention. Like nobody knows what anybody's order is because you only know what you ordered. And then you got this waiter there standing like with eight hot plates like, who got the chicken? Anybody? Chicken? Chicken? And then you have to then scream down the table, who got the chicken? Jin, did you get the chicken? Nikki, did you get the chicken? Like, you know your order. Like, if the waiter's coming, pay attention. And when your order's coming up, like, look out for it and be like, that was me. I don't know why, but it annoys me so much. And it happens everywhere. So watch. It sounds as silly as it is. And yeah, I don't know why it's a pet peeve. But when next time you go to a restaurant, look for that. And I guarantee you it will happen. Like, <laughs> like I would bet money. Maybe not a group of four because it's you know less big. But when we grow out in these big groups, I would bet money on it that it will happen. Because people don't pay attention. I hate I'll, it. 
I think I know what the reasoning is. Because you always go out with groups of like 50. Yeah, okay? Cause that's true. me living in Hamilton with my friends... Oh, you got to beep out where I live. We don't want all the you know, groupies coming after me. <laughs> yeah, I'll beep it. You got it. Anyway, um, where I live with my friends that I have over there, it's like three or four people. <laughs> <laughs> Who got the chicken? Who got the salad? Uh, him? Me? That's it. Yeah. Done. No, okay. Well, that's not... Yeah, I'm not used to that, and I hate it. And and another thing that grinds my gears, and this is even stupider, but... The first one was pretty stupid. Yeah. No, this is stupider than that. Okay. Mixing yogurt. <laughs> I wanted to wait for you to drink so you could spit your drink. I would spit into the mic and on your computer. <laughs> no. So So, I just... Hey, Why? Why, you know, and then the liquid just gets to the top every time, and the fruit's always on the bottom, and you have to mix it. Like, I just want to open it, and I want to eat it. But, like, you have to, like, lift the lid, and it's always on the lid. Like, how does the fuck, excuse me, how does it get on the lid? Like, is it upside down? Like, it's always on the lid, and then you have to, like, lick off the lid, and then you have to mix it, because the fruit's on the bottom, and the liquid's on the top, and then you can eat it. Like, you can't just, just dive right in and eat it. And, that, and then, like, it's, that's so stupid, but, like, that is one of my pet peeves. Okay, so what I'd like to do is to give a common sense solution to that. Shake it up? First off, no. The reason that you might see some of that yogurt residue on the top of the lid is because during the prepackaging process, right, it might be upside down, they fill it, or they might have it, and then it gets shaken up, things like that. Part of the delivery process before it gets refrigerated, or during the refrigeration process, you know, liquid, whatever, foams at the top and everything. I mean, it's very logical, so I don't know why that you would even question that. It's just... And then, hold on, the horns are missing thing. They don't mix it right away, right? Especially not if there's, like, granola or things like that. But even if it's fruit, they'll put the fruit so it sits at the bottom. And then the yogurt, it actually might even be something in terms of health benefits because it's got good bacteria in yogurt. So I think your reasoning... And your pet peeve is stupider. It is stupid. But no, that all doesn't make sense. It's just like you open a bag of chips and you eat it. But no, imagine if you had to open the bag of chips, you had to shake it up, turn it upside down first, grab what's from the bottom and that's on the top, and then wipe the inside of the bag clean before you eat right. it. Like, just like it's just... <clears throat> Out of all pet peeves, wouldn't one of them be like a bag of chips, you open it, you're like, oh my God, this is like a 64-ounce bag. But there's only like 16 ounces of chips in there. Wouldn't that be more upsetting or stupid? No, because I but, don't know. You. What do you mean? They could easily. That doesn't bother me. I I get. Yeah, it is stupid. You get. Wait, why do you get that? I don't know. But it doesn't. That doesn't bother me as much. It bothers me. Because, okay, let's add that to the list. But I. <laughs> because, okay, because that's I, yours. Okay, think about it. All right, when you when you get a bag of chips, you look at it in the aisle. You you're staring no, at this. No, you don't think big, it's that big. You know it's. Well, that's because it's it's become established that, hey, when you open up a bag of okay, chips... Okay, well, it's not, your pet it's, peeve. I guess that's one of them. All right, I will say, one of, one of the biggest pet peeves for me, it's got to be the people that don't use a freaking turn signal. Oh, my God, that's oh, the yeah. worst. Yeah, you always like, All right, I'm, I'm behind somebody, right, and they just slow down. You're just wondering what the hell is going on. Are they having a heart attack? They're slowing down. And then they just make a right turn, right? You're like, okay, thanks for not letting the person behind you know. A little bit of respect would have been better. Now, what's worse than that are the people that go all the way to the left. Let's just say you're in the lane, right? There's only one lane. They go all the way to the left to slow down. You're like, what the hell? Why are they all the way to the left? They're slowing down. And then they make a right, but they go super slow into that turn. Yeah. That is like the ultimate pet peeve because it's... Everything, right? It's number one, they're not signaling. Number two, they're basically making an abrupt stop all the way to the left to make a right turn. That pisses me off. And when you realize where the turn signal is in relationship to the steering wheel, it's a finger flick away. Or they're slowing down on a speed up ramp. Yeah. So the only thing I can think about is, my only reaction to it is, I look at them and I'm just like... <laughs> they have no clue what you're trying to point like, out Like, I, well, I was actually going to try to parlay that into the Dane Cook joke, but it didn't make sense. Go. Fucking go! But yeah, that didn't really make as much sense. But yeah, you, you do wonder, like, what the hell are they doing? Like, why are they that inconsiderate? To me, it's inconsiderate. I don't know if you feel that way. Um, No, I don't. But I understand where you're coming from. That That at least makes more sense. 
than some of my stupid ones. It's it's almost as if we're both walking and like you're behind me and I hold it. I don't hold the door open and you're within a reasonable walking distance. That's what I think is a relationship. The comparison oh, a between a lot the of two. people don't hold doors. Most or, people, or do when hold I them. hold the door for people, they don't say thank you. That happens a lot. Yeah. And then I just go, "You're, you're welcome." welcome. <laughs> Jinx, owe me a beer. How about a iced tea with a sip left? All right. Do we have any more pet peeves or next topic? There's got to be a ton. There's a ton. There's a ton. Let's let's set that as like next week's <laughs> agenda. Oh, next week's uh, week weeks update. field research. Find another no. pet peeve. Yes. No. How about this? How about we ask strangers people, what yeah. their pet peeves? Strangers or I, friends? I think I know where you're going with this. You basically want me to interact with people and just find no, out no. and compliment them and talk to no, them. No, no. Well, you did compliments. We can't repeat. No, this exercise not only will give us more content for our show, but it might also bring new listeners. Like, oh, why are you asking me about this? Oh, because I'm doing a podcast. You should listen. And then what I do is I snatch their phone out of their hands, and then I automatically subscribe. (laughs) (laughs) Auto-download, auto-notify, loudest ringtone ever. But the problem is most people don't listen to podcasts. Yeah, but when it comes up in their notification because they're auto-subscribed, then they're like, what is that? Oh, that's a picture of Geo. Wait, I'm trying to think, do I get... I don't know. Well, maybe it's because I listen to podcasts all the time. I don't even get notifications to podcasts because I'm always looking for, like, when I get my podcasts, the ones I love are, like, news, and I love to listen to the news. I, I, I am definitely getting old, okay? This is a sign of getting old when all you want to do is find out, like, what the latest news is. And in today's internet-driven technology type of, uh, type of age that we're in, news happens and it's delivered to you, to your mobile device, right away. So, I'm always trying to find out, like today, with that executive order with Trump. You know, you, you heard about that, right? Uh, this is, I think this should be like a weekly thing where I rant, because I talk about the news, and Gio's like, huh? What executive <laughs> order? No. Because, I want to talk about my pet peeves. No, because Gio will be like... Did you hear the big news? It just happened 30 seconds ago. Did you have a chance to look at it? It actually like, happened. It happened about four or five hours ago. Yeah, but maybe our schedules are different. I'm listening. To, like I don't. I'm at work, and I don't immediately get out and go. What are the current events? Like, wait. So what do you do on the train? I'm probably watching something else. I'm not going to a, a news thing or looking through a Facebook you know, feed where your Facebook feed is all about Trump hating. I don't. I, <laughs> yes, no, it I, is. It, it might be, just like yours is. But no, I don't rely I don't have on Facebook. I don't rely on Facebook for news as much <laughs> anymore. Um, I believe it or not, I, I rely on uh, YouTube and on CNN Live because <laughs> uh, using that app, I can background play the audio and it's perfect. But yeah, I, I like listening to the news to find out what's going on and see how it impacts me. Same like here. That. I just had it, haven't gotten to it yet. So what do you think about uh, this whole entire uh, Harvey Weinstein thing? <clears throat> we talked about it's it on crazy. the last podcast and it's now escalating. Like more people are coming out and saying, yeah, he tried to fuck me. He tried to grab my boobs and all of this. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if by the time that this podcast comes out, if Harvey Weinstein commits, you know what? Yeah. Another like rape. His wife, <laughs> his wife just left him. Like, at first, you know, because I think because he was brushing it off, like, because, you know, he's powerful, he's got all the money in the world, he's got everything, and he's just like, you know what? Yeah, I made a mistake. I need to change. I'm working on it. You know, yeah, he entered into he, he's a kinda, sex addiction rehab. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, I just got to do this and I'll get a second chance. And that's how he's talking. It's like, it's almost like he's not remorseful. I mean, no, I'm not his... condoning it. I'm not saying it's okay. Um, we did live in different times back then. It is abuse of power. I'm, I, I don't think it's okay. But like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not. What? Well, what? What? Huh? What? I don't think it's okay. No. <laughs> okay. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> I I think. I don't know why he's giggling. You know, honestly, like, I, if they're speaking out about it, you know, because they felt some kind of way. That's you know, I get it, and there's so many of them, and he is in a position of power, so that part of it sucks, right? But I mean, I don't know. 
I think there's a part of me that's kind of like, you're a guy, and when you're dating, you're not going grabbing people's boobs, but as a guy, you go in for the kiss, right? Or you yeah. like start to give the girl a massage. Like that was just something you did as a. So as a- yeah, I I agree with you in terms of what whether it be the courting process or flirting, whatever it is. But he took it a little bit too far yeah. with like straight up rape. You know. Yeah, that's but- what the, that's what they're saying, and you know, and I'm not putting any discredit towards any of these women. If they're saying they're raped, I'm not discounting that or, or anything like that. But it's like. When, when you're know, in the part position of, of power, like, part, yeah, you know, that's what it is. When you're in the position of power and then people look up to you, I'll bet you there were other women that, well, they might step forward now, but they were willingly saying, fuck yeah, let me get on that dirty dick. <laughs> right, and, and all of these people coming through, is there some of them that are going like, you know, I was fine with it, but now I'll say something? Exactly, because now, they, look at Gwyneth Paltrow. She came out and said something about it recently. She admitted it. But at the same time, when she was winning those awards, she was like, oh, I want to thank Harvey Weinstein, exactly. Miramax. Like, yeah, you want to thank him because he got you to where you're at. So yeah. there is a little bit of like... that. That's the part of me where it's like, I understand that that part, you know. But when when obviously the media, we're gonna they're going to put it in this light and it's really bad. Is it I'm fake not news, condoning Gio? it. Is I'm, it fake I'm news? I'm not condoning it. I mean, I don't act like that either but just i understand i i it sounds so so bad so, no it no no so I, I think i think i agree with where you're coming from because a quick little story over here when i was uh it's about what 15 years ago was it yeah it's about 15 years ago um my friend and i we did he's he was in the modeling scene and we did calvin klein's daughter's wedding reception in the hamptons now uh, for you that don't know Kevin Klein did have a family, but he's older. Um, even back then, he was older. So this was about, like I said, 12, 13 years ago. He was gay. He came out and he admitted that he was gay. So for help, he hired a modeling agency and had all these other male models to be the help. Uh, so I was like, my friend was the personal bartender for him. And I was one of like the bartenders, waiters, and all this other stuff. And... Is that wrong though? I mean, it it's not right because he wanted that type of scene. He wanted that type of people to be around. But at the same time, he probably did other things, and I'm not going to name names in terms of who he helped to bring, let's say, to superstardom and things like that. And there are people that made it big because of what Calvin Klein did. But I'm sure Calvin Klein got some, you know stuff got some extra yeah i mean if you want to look at it in a different way i mean we're talking sex and harassment and abuse and 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 rape and and stuff but if you want to look at it in a different way i feel like it happens in your everyday society right so if you're a business owner and you're you know you have the position of power maybe you buy season tickets to the yankees and then you can write that off because it's an expense and then you can give those tickets to a client, right, for their business. So it's kind of like Wait, are you, are you far... saying they're bought or sex? I don't know where you're going no, with no, this. No, no, I'm saying this is a far reach, right? But you just have a way to exchange things for things you want. Like, oh, thank you for your, my business. Thank you it, for your yeah, business. Yeah, but it has to Here's be mutual. Tickets. It has to be mutual. Meaning... Right. So, I mean, yes, there probably there are some claims of rape. But then, how many of them were actually like, I can get my career further? Or how many of exactly. them were, you know, like, I'm scared, but what am I going to do? But this will help. Like, like, why? okay, well, why didn't you say rape? Or why didn't you say no? Or why didn't you leave? Or why didn't they do it sooner? Like, why didn't they come out and say it right, right. away? Well, and a lot of it did. is because they... Some did, and they well, didn't... A lot of it is didn't get anywhere. Because it was fear. Right, and now they're know? talking about their HR company and the company itself. Like... They're saying that they knew about this and did nothing. Like they, they were paying people off. Yeah. And apparently what I just heard today, here you go, I was watching the Harvey stuff versus hearing this. The Seth MacFarlane thing? No, that they, the two years ago, the HR, the company, put a policy out to um, Harvey saying, every time you get convicted and we as a company has to pay out to our insurance, you are paying us money. So it's almost like an insurance policy for them 
because they knew what was going on and said, if you get caught, you're going to have to pay, not us. And th- I heard that. Now, I don't know if that's true. I didn't look into it. I just heard it on one of the news. But, you know, that... I, I think it was understood. If you were in show business, like in yeah. that A-list, B-list thing. Okay, perfect example. Big show that a lot of people probably watched, Mad Men. Mad I Men not was not too long ago the time when that happened. And that's how it was. Was it the 60s? Was it centered yeah, around like the 60s? Yeah. And, and people were 70s? still smoking in buildings. Guys wearing suits to work. And they had like secretaries. Even though they had, they had hot secretaries. Even though they had wives at home. And they were executives. And you know. That, that wasn't too long ago. So are you trying to say that times are changing um, for the worse? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, I'm not, again, I'm not condoning what he did. I think what Jill's trying to say is we should go back to the caveman days where we just took like a, a like a club and just smacked the women no, over the I, head. I just look, you, me. I just like to look at everything at different angles. For example, you know, um, if you are speeding and you're getting a ticket, but you know a cop and you have a PBA card and you get out of it. Well, you know, why is that any different from somebody else that doesn't, right? You're still putting people's lives at danger, your life in danger, but you can get away with it because you know certain it's people. Not always I'm just case, saying though. it's there's there's abuse of power all the time. Like, okay, when you go to a bar and, you know, you've had a beer, right? Or maybe you've had two, but you're over you're still driving and that's you know, maybe two is okay, but you don't know. Do you breathalyze yourself before you leave? So yeah, that all right the time. there you don't? That right there is like you're committing something, you know, or, or maybe you've ran a red light or maybe you... Why the hell would you run a red light? Jill, where are you coming from? I'm just making up stuff that, you know, there's a lot of things that you do in life and you try to get out of and because you know certain people or you have the power, you know, Okay, outcomes. time out. I think you and I have to have a discussion. You're basically telling me you're, you're getting drunk and you're going through red lights now. All the time. Yes, I have wow. the power. I know cops. Isn't your dad like? Uh, I don't know if we should, you know, spill the beans on it, but he he does have very powerful PBA card to say the least. I'm talking about myself. Can we tell I'm the giving... story? Can we tell the story about when you got pulled over? <laughs> you remember many years ago, we were we were coming back from a club. You had a few drinks, nonetheless, and <laughs> the cop was like, uh, "Where are you coming from?" And then you were like. Oh, uh, we come from the bar. I actually left the license at the oh. bar. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. No, that wasn't even a bad story. I mean, I don't know what happened. I was so long ago because I have a bad memory. But pretty much, um, I, I said I don't have my license. I left it at the bar. Like, I straight up admitted I was at a bar. Um, you know, and you, that you forgot your license at the bar. Yeah. I mean, if I was a cop, I'd be like, listen, you got to get out. We, you and I got to have a little talk. Yeah, and I didn't get in trouble for it. I don't know what happened. Maybe he was a nice guy. It was a good He dad. had to have been super stupid but or super nice. <laughs> when you go to a bar and you have a tab, um, you give them your credit card. Oh, wait, you're white, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm half white. Yeah, he saw he saw the half that looked Caucasian. I, like, I left oh, my go. license and credit card at the bar because of the tab, so I forgot it there. And I totally was like, oh, my God, I don't have my license. But, yeah. No, I don't know. See, and probably maybe I had a, a, a PBA card I think or it's because you're white. If you were black, if your skin was much darker and you looked like Hispanic or even like black or Asian, you might have gotten a beat down. I think that might have been the case. I don't know. Wait, but can we... Wait, in this day and age, I just want to make sure. And I'm, I'm Asian. You're half Asian, half white or whatever. But I want to know to what extent can we actually shit on white people? Because it seems like we can. <laughs> Well, yeah, no. I mean, are you saying because we're ha- we're white, so we can make fun of white? Or are you saying no in general? I mean, no, like- yeah, no. I I just said something the other day. It's like I feel like I don't know. Can we really talk about this? <laughs> I feel bad talking about it. If you feel bad, that you you're, you're white. About- you're white. Be no, careful. No. So if you make comments, and it's all over the internet, these kind of things. Like if you guys have seen the dear white people video, right? I have not. Okay, well, this is a video about, you know, and there's all different races of people saying these things, white, black, Asian, Spanish, um, saying, dear white people, and then they would make fun of white people doing things like, are you, why are you saying this? Why are you doing that? And then it was like, what if it was flipped? 
what if it was flipped what how how come like for example um you know okay the stereotype let's say that the the stereotype is black you're trying to set yourself up so that you can just try to be like try to get away from it so you don't get in trouble you're like oh well let's just say hypothetically speaking you gotta be you know politically correct (laughs) then you should you shouldn't talk you should just not even think this is a stereotype right chicken and waffles (laughs) who likes that or watermelon right Damn, chill. That's There's a, a lot. I don't think we can air this podcast. I didn't make that up. <laughs> Wait, okay. who, who? I I listen. Can I just say you already know me? Who loves watermelon more than me? Yeah, gin. That's your favorite, and that's probably one of my favorite fruits too. I love watermelon too. But there's a stereotype out there uh, for chicken, watermelon, waffles, whatever you want to call it, right? But then on the flip side, it's totally normal to say white girls and pumpkin lattes pumpkin spice latte oh it's pumpkin spice time right and stuff like that like oh it's a white girl thing right i can't even right so it's like i don't know sometimes i don't i do think it's double standard double sort but you know again i i don't know if i want to really get yeah if we get into the race thing uh i experienced something on facebook and i was just like you know what i'm not gonna comment it was it was from like my friend from high school he's very uh how do you say Stupid. <laughs> How do you say <laughs> stupid? He he's a uh, he, he he really is. If I showed you his Facebook and this shit that he says, you'll be like, yeah, he's dumb. He's a dumb idiot. But he talked about um, a lot of it. He talked about like, oh yeah, why can't um, black people just be okay with it? Times are different. And then the whole slew of my black friends from high school were like, listen, dude, you have no clue what it was like growing up to be black and this, that, and the other. And then, so that, like, went into a big thing. Like, if we if we looked at that post right now, it's still probably going on back and forth. They're probably friends that are, like, defriend each other, unfriended each other. And I was going to jump in and be like, you know, I was Asian, and I pretty much got called a chink, and black people took my skateboard and... If you're listening, buddy, I remember that. You, he took my skateboard and just like sh- like pushed it really fast and hard. And I felt like it was just teasing me. He actually called me a chink too, but whatever. Man, I'm like, I'm used to it. For me anyways, like, I don't... Well, it's don't different. Know, we won't understand what what they've gone through or go through unless you're in those shoes and you know. You've mm-hmm. maybe experienced your own racism. Maybe you've handled it in a different way. Yeah, or it has perceived to be. it or whatever you want to call it. Everybody handles things differently. I mean, take race out of it. Take race out of it in general. Every day in it's my... hard to take race out no, of it when like I'm, they call I'm you saying, a chink. Or no, they, no, I'm saying take know. race out of it and just take a standard scenario, like uh, at work has nothing to do with race or anything. Then I can say something to somebody, like send them an email and put it in bullet point format. I had somebody tell me this one time. What color were the bullet points? No, they said. Oh, you know, why do you sound so directive and so matter of fact and straight to the point? I was like, what do you mean? It's like, you're telling me what to do. And I was like, what? I don't know. She's like, see the bullets? And I was like, oh my God. They perceived it as that. Wait, so is it because you're, you're trying I, to talk about text? My example here is it doesn't matter. Take race out of it. It's all about how somebody perceives it too, that it could totally mean something else when it was not supposed to mean that at all it's it's so difficult to take race out of any type of context because like for example if i'm talking to a girl typically you'd be like oh what is she i mean i said it a girl you're like no no no, but what is she like, oh a female with boobs and a, you know whatever but you'd be like yeah but what is she you know what i mean and then i'll be like okay she's white but she's you know something 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 so there's it, it's almost always like, if you talk about it, it's like, hey, I'm dating a girl. Oh, yeah, really? What is she? Or it's like, hey, I'm seeing a guy. Oh, yeah, what is he? And I think it's because... Oh, like ethnicity. Yeah, it's because, like, the, the background of who we are, and then you put the stereotypes together, it has a little bit of significance, you know, whether it be that, hey, if you're Asian, you're supposed to be a doctor, lawyer, have money, stingy, bad driver, all that bad stuff. By the way, I'm a good driver. The best. Huge. <laughs> Okay, so I think... By the way, I don't think we found out what the calm before the storm was. So maybe by the time this podcast yeah, airs... Yeah, it's we'll probably like he just wants it to be like an interesting TV show. <laughs> giving it, you know... Um, what's do, the word? Build up to the next time. Do, do you think he's going to resign? No. You don't think... Oh yeah, I forgot. You're a big Trump supporter. 
Not that I'm not. What? What? What does that mean? So, so somebody tweeted you, and you apparently didn't see it. But when somebody what, tweeted again? you, like, yeah, well, I'm a Trump supporter. What's what's the what's the issue with that? See the way you said it, and that's what I'm talking about. Again, I said it in the last podcast, and I know I said it because I just listened to it today. But it was like it's not about being a Trump supporter. It's the way you just said it. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot you're a Trump supporter. Like, what does I that mean? Didn't say it like that. What does that mean? I, I'll I'll say it too. I voted for Trump. Who did you vote for? Nobody. Exactly. Because I'm not going to vote for Hillary. I'm not going to vote for Trump. You can go There's, third party. There's which Green doesn't party. do anything. Regardless. But still, it's still a vote. Okay, well. In whatever reasons that you pick. So here's the funny thing. It's not that I'm not a Trump supporter because I, for example, what he's doing with this executive order, I don't necessarily agree with it. But then at the same time, I also don't agree with what's going on with Obamacare because it's going to implode. Kind of what Trump is saying. I, I think what so, you don't get too is that I don't. Give two shits. No, I, yeah, well, that too. Like, I want to live my life and have fun and be with my family and do everything that I enjoy. I know. Go out life. to dinner with fifty people, 50 people and talk about and your dinner. Hey, that, why don't you guys know you ordered the chicken? He got the fish. What the hell? Exactly. But you know, there's things I agree with and there's things that I don't. And same thing goes when Obama was in in president. You know, there's things that I agree with and things that I don't. See, the, but the problem is Obama was able to keep his composure. He was very there's nothing empathetic. to do with anything. Trump, his vocabulary is the size of a, I don't know, what's like a gold. Yeah, but shit's well. getting done. Uh, is and it that's really? why he got voted really? in because is it really he needed a change. Is shit really getting done? Yes. Is it really? Everything he's saying, he's slowly working in. All right, let's just agree to disagree and talk about the next topic. Uh, next topic, there's no more topics. That's it. That's the end. Wait, just to make sure, we're doing a short podcast, right? Oh, we're doing... This is a short one. 36 okay. minutes now. Okay, so it's, it, it is going to be a short No, talk. okay, well, we're going to do one segment, right? Let's do this. See, I don't agree with the way that you wanted to do this segment because... Okay, so this is the... You know, everybody... We had talked about having a build-up. This is it. This is that climactic moment where we talk about what we're going to do. So we're going to switch roles here. I'm going to be Geo. He's going to be Jin. I think it would have been better had we done that in the beginning and I talked like you and then you talk like me. But regardless, it's always Gio's way. No, I just think that people, one, would we have a hard time communicating with each other, trying to think what would Jin say? And then for a whole hour, our listeners be confused like what are they doing? No, so, it's for one, it's not an hour, okay. right? It's a Here, short podcast. Let's just do like a little segment. Okay, you say some things that I would say and I'll... I'll I'll talk okay. back with things you Based would say. Based on all these podcasts, I'm going to talk like Gio. You ready? I'm going to go. I can't, even do <laughs> I can't do it with a straight face with you looking okay, at me. Well, like, but anyway, uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is after this podcast, I'm just going to take a shower and have sex with my wife with my <laughs> shirt on. What? That's and a- then at the same time, talking about Trump, how much I love Trump. Yeah, so... Uh, my name is Jin, and I would be like, "Did you hear about the news about Trump today?" Because oh boy, he's fucking shit up. But before oh, I tell you about I did Trump, not. before I tell you about Trump, I want to talk about all the settings in my drone. So there's there's these settings, and, and it's called stipulation uh, figmentation, right? So if you set it to a thirty degree angle, then you bring it up with the velocity and the wait, wait, wait. hypotenuse and the wait, Pythagorean wait. theorem. And C squared equals a squared plus b squared. But why the hell are you not like saying the right verbiage since you did last week's? I was talking about thing. drones, not cameras. But the drone, I didn't even the get main the purpose of the drone but is the But I could talk camera. about photography for another like three hours. <laughs> but first, I want to tell you about this guy I met. So this guy, right? Oh, I get it. I get was, it. I get it. You're doing he, gin. You're doing gin was, right now. He, he was trying to pick me up. And I was like, ho, 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 buddy. I'm not gay. But let me get that number, though. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's a, I'm going to be Gio again. Okay, ready? So I got this business, right? I got this new business. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not going to talk to about it. It's going to blow up. It's going to be huge. But it's going to be really cool. No, that's what you so, say. Huge. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm Jim, so, 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 and it's huge. So I'm going to use this platform, this new business. I'm going to like your pictures. I'm going to talk to you. But I'm not going to follow you, though. I refuse to follow you on the gram. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I don't want to follow you because what I want to do instead 
is I want to put a mic in your room and record you having sex with your wife. Wait, wait, wait. No, it was never that I wanted to put it. I, I wanted you to willingly put it in there. But remember, I said that we're going to pretend to do it. Okay. That would be fun. Listen, for shits and giggles, we should do it. But like, just pretend. Why are we whispering? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, no. <laughs> but I got... what if we just pretend? Just be like, Nikki, I swear there's nothing. But like, just have like a wire hanging out of like... While you're having sex with her in your black shirt, just have it hanging out. Be like, oh shit, babe, you weren't supposed to see that. What the? F-? And, and then, like, have another audio come in, like, repeat itself. Just do it. I just want to see your freak out. I would have just. Well, I wouldn't see it. You would have to explain it to me because we're not going to record any of the video or audio. Unless if you want me there with a camera, then I can do that. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'll tell you about my weekend. It's pretty boring. Oh, you're doing gym still. Okay. I don't really do anything on the weekend that sounds about right that sounds about right okay well let me tell you about my weekend uh i dropped my daughter off like as soon as saturday came like fuck it's saturday g peace anyway guys going straight getting all together with the crew we're getting down to belmar b-e-l-m-a-r and we're going to dj's and then we're going to Get the bottles. And, but before that, we go to get dinner, right? There's going to be 50 of us. Oh, these fucking pet peeves. Let me tell you about them. Fucking people. I don't they just understand what they order when the food comes. It all comes at once. Just know what you ordered, for goodness sakes. Especially when they bring the freaking yogurt. When they bring that yogurt and I have to mix it up. and Oh, God. That was it. That, that was my geo. So is that... That's, that's our segment there. Thank you. Wait, and you... scene. Scene. What scene? scene? Like it's the end of the scene. End of We're the done scene. acting out our parts. Wait, do we have an outro? No, was the intro, the outro. I can play the, the intro again, but I don't know. Let's do an outro. How about we do the intro without vocals and then the outro with vocals? What do you guys think? Why don't you tweet me? No, we should do the intro with the vocals and the outro with nothing. And then we play it out fading. Oh, crossfade, right? Sure. Okay, my finger's on the record button. Ready? Yep. Outro. We are slowly fading this out so far away. Hey, hey, hey.